Hello and welcome to, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, it is Friday. Steven just took the dogs for the walk, he is off, and I know we just wrapped up Vlogmas, um, but I wanted to go ahead and hop on because so many of you were asking about taking down decorations and all of that, and if I show you, it has begun. So a lot of things have been taken down. Here is the deal. I would love to film a video of like on decorating with me and this is sort of what that's going to be however the amount of time added when you're trying to film it is like inconvenient to do it really really well so I am going to talk you through my process in my basement I take every single bin that I have for my Christmas decorations and I open it up and I set the lids to the left hand side and they're all just open then what I do is I just carry everything to that one central location because I don't want to just be tucking things in bins I want to actually be thoughtful of like what goes in each bin and the only way you can do that is to have all your bins there and have everything just sitting on the floor. So I literally just sit everything out and then I start putting it away. Now as I carry things down, I designate one bin as my carry bin. So I bring it upstairs, I fill it up, carry it down, empty it, bring it back up and I just like do that cycle until I get everything downstairs. Then I organized by category. So like I have all my stockings and textiles in one bin. After I do that, if the bin is not clear because I'm still like in transition because we had a bunch of um, like the red and green top, uh, Rubbermaid bins, I take a picture on my like Fuji film Polaroid and I tape that picture to the bin so I know exactly what is in there. Now, I should also tell you, I do the same thing before I take any of my decorations down. I go around and take pictures of everything on that Polaroid. Um, you could do this on your phone too, so I can remember how I set things up last year. Not that I'm going to set it up exactly the same, but it might spark an idea. I'll also put those in a quick scrapbook, um, not anything fancy, it's just literally glued them in right living room. Um, and I'll sometimes put ideas for next year that I figured out while I was decorating. I clean absolutely nothing until I get everything down to the basement, then I will do like a deep clean of the upstairs. But that's my process for undecorating. So far I've done the kitchen, I've done the entryway, I've done um, the mud room, I've done the breakfast nook, I've done all the garlands except for the staircase. I still have that left to do today. Um, and I'm going to leave the living room tree, but I'm going to attack the dining room tree. Um, trust me, I won't hurt it. <laughs> and I will show you some of those bins that I use to organize my ornaments, where I buy them, all of those things. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. My parents left this morning, um, so just hoping they have a safe and uh, easy trip home. Um, we had a wonderful Christmas. It was amazing. Uh, the what I got for Christmas video is probably going to come up on Monday just because um, I want to take the weekend to get the house settled um, and then I'm going to film that on Monday. So that's the plan for today. If you would have told me I'd be picking up the camera this soon, I would have told you you are nuts, but here we are. In other news, you know on Vlogmas Day 25, we struggled with that TV, but we got it all figured out. Um, so that is the Samsung Q something or other 4K Ultra HD TV, and we love it. We watched um, Downton Abbey this morning on 4K, and it was impeccable to see. So we're definitely loving the TV. It just took some time to get it set up. I haven't eaten yet this morning, and it is almost 11, so I'm going to eat something. Um, goodness knows we have enough food in the house, and I will catch up with you in a little bit. The way I like to store my garland is I like to just keep all the ornaments and picks that I use with the garland, so I just put it in garbage bags, and then in the box, with the garland. All my picks and everything are here together. If I want to change it out, I still know um, that that's all red and silver. I'm already thinking of doing blue for next year. 
like all different colors of blue. Not sure, but just thinking about it. Um, so yeah, that's the garland, and I'm just gonna box this up and take it downstairs. A lot of you ask what I do with the Christmas puzzle. I'm just gonna break it up and put it back. I often donate puzzles once I do them. This is a really, really fun one. I love that my dad got involved. It's the first year that he's really, well, it's the first year he's ever gotten into it with us. We also ended up not even ever rolling it up. Uh, this is a really cool puzzle roller. I will leave this link down below so that you don't have to keep your puzzle out the whole time. You just roll it up and then you close it off. And we love this thing. This is the one tree I want to take down today. So, taking down the tree, I live by these things. You can label each of them. So this is the dining room 10 foot tree. And these are also my ornament containers that I love. They come flat, you zip them up, they have dividers in them, so all of my glass ornaments are in here. So they're all packed and ready to go. And now I'm just gonna take the lights off and get this tree in this bag. We are getting there. Um, I have this dining room tree to take down and then I need to run the vacuum back up in my parents' room. So I'm gonna get this carried down to the basement and then go vacuum upstairs. legitimately dripping sweat. This is my workout for the day. The ZZ plant has to go back on the island, but D Christmas, my parents' bedroom, the sheets are in the washer and dryer. I'm just changing out the pillows, changed out the throw, took down the garlands. Um, yeah, we are all D Christmas in here and it is back to normal. Also in other news, the striped curtains are gone. These are beautiful Ralph Lauren curtains. I have four panels um, on that one. And then I got our old TV is in the window. That's like an invitation to be robbed. I got matching Ralph Lauren curtains for Steven's office and then for the dining room as well. Oh, everything is getting back to normal, slowly. I am leaving this bad boy up because I'm just too obsessed for it to go anywhere yet. I'm just loving it. But the rest of the house is all de Christmas and it is only 1225. I have completely cleaned, put away all the Christmas decor, laundered the sheets, all of the things. Mr. Casey goes home today. We will miss him, but he's had a good visit. was just editing today's video. Steven is upstairs taking a nap and I am starting a new book. I've read the first chapter and I'm already hooked. The book that I'm reading is Rabbits for Food. It's New Year's Eve. Oh, the woman, the protagonist in the story has a full mental breakdown and lands herself in a psych ward of a New York hospital. She refuses all modes of recommended treatment. Instead, she passes the time chronicling the lives of her fellow lunatics, in quotation marks, and writing a novel about what brought her there. Her story is a brilliant and brutally funny dive into the disordered mind of a woman who sees the world all too clearly. It's um really beautifully written. The first chapter, I love her voice as an author, but um, yeah. Rabbits for food, it's what I'm reading. I'm in my office and I'm just thinking through some changes I wanna make. I want to get a new desk. I don't love this one. And I love those shelves though. So I need another white desk and a new chair. And then I just hired someone to come and mount our old 65 inch TV up there 
onto this wall, which I'm super, super excited about. I think it'll look so sharp there. And it's like another like Denny, really cute area to watch some movies and relax. So I'm really excited about that. I want to change out this light fixture and that one over there. And I wanna make this more of where I film um, some videos because I have some plans for 2020 that I really, really want to accomplish. So that's the happenings in this room. Want to do some work in this closet. This is um, like my planner closet messy area. Um, it's clean just because I literally yanked everything out of it. Um, but this is no longer going to be a decorative piece. It's going to be way more functional. This is what's happening in the home front. For the floral arrangements, I wanted to neutralize them now for winter. Um, so I pulled out the hydrangeas that were slightly wilted. They did hold up really, really well. I know some of you were worried. And then I pulled the red berries out, just leaving all the greens and like these really sparkly picks. So I have that one. I just refreshed all the water. I have the huge one here. I still have all the ones upstairs in every bedroom. Have this one right here. Um, this one's holding up really well, but it just has like baby's breath and these really beautiful, I don't know what those are. But yeah, all of the arrangements are holding up so well. Um, and like this pine will stay nice as long as I keep it watered for a really long time. Okay, my friends, I am going to sign off this vlog. Um, it's been a really productive day. I feel really good about everything that got done. Um, but I'm going to leave it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others. And simply be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.